Hey guys, just real quick, I want to go over a new mod that I discovered called Magic Loader Loader. Uh, it's kind of a must-have expansion of Magic Loader, uh, I guess would be a, a very interesting description for it. Essentially, uh, what it does, and this is targeted to anyone who's already using Magic Loader, followed my video to get it set up, and has Magic Loader set up as a tool. As you remember, um, additional map markers requires Magic Loader in order to show different map markers actually showing up in game as the correct name and not just like missing string or whatever that was showing. Um, but essentially every time that you would get an update for this mod or you'd get a new mod that requires Magic Loader, you'd have to go to this tool and you'd have to remember to run it and run the do magic um, and essentially go through that whole process every time to try to uh, get it to work. Well, what Magic Loader Loader does is every time you run the game through OBS E64, uh, it will automatically run Magic Loader through command line. And so you don't even get this menu. It just automatically runs this do magic option here and updates Magic Loader with all the things that you've got. So it's a fantastic mod. It's very convenient. Uh, I'll, I'll real quick show you guys exactly what I mean when I'm saying that uh, it just automatically runs. So first we have to show some no-nos. I'm going to undo the magic, which essentially means Magic Loader is not working. Once that's done loading, OK. We're going to go ahead and start the game up, and I'm just going to show you guys with additional map markers on. The map marker is not showing up correctly because we didn't run Magic Loader, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it's very straightforward, and I almost don't even want to show you guys all this and just show you how to install the mod, but I think it'd be convenient and good information to have so you guys know exactly what's going on here. So we're just going to load this save that I've got. Um, it's it's right next to an Aeliad well, and so this uh, map marker is going to show up without a proper name. Almost instantly. All right, and if you look at my compass at the top, you can see where it says missing string table entry. Uh, essentially, Magic Loader corrects all of that. Anyone who has it installed already knows exactly what Magic Loader is going to do. It's going to get the correct name set there, fix a lot of these issues. But as you can see, I ran the game and I now get this. So. Um, real quick, I'm going to jump in again to Vortex and show you guys if we run Magic Loader first, what everything looks like. So here we are back on Vortex. Uh, as you can see, I've got Magic Loader. I'm going to go ahead and have it do magic. Close out. Let that get done loading. And... Essentially, it's done its magic. We're going to run the game, and I'm going to show you real quick. That thing is just there now. And sorry if this is kind of boring, seeing me go through loading the save and all that. I just want you guys to see the whole process since this affects when you run the game. Okay. So this time I ran Magic Loader, and as you can see, Aliad Well is showing up correctly now. Anybody that's watched my video on Magic Loader has already seen all this. They know, you know that's exactly what Magic Loader does. But let's say we get further down the road and new mods come out that require Magic Loader, and you just happen to forget 
you end up playing, or heaven forbid you're streaming, and you come across some glaring issue. Aliad well isn't showing up, it's that stupid array. Or there's an update for this mod, and you have to run Magic Loader again, and all that stuff. So, I think now I'm going to go ahead and cut to Magic Loader Loader, already installed, and just show you guys the difference it's going to make. Alright guys, I have Magic Loader Loader installed now, and real quick, I'm just going to show you something that might make you think I'm crazy. I'm going to undo the magic, okay, and it says any Magic Loader packs have been removed, so we're going to go ahead and close this now. Magic Loader should not be active right now, because I've turned it off, and I'm just going to run the game, and we're going to see... Does that alien well show up, yes or no? And I think this is really the uh, power of Magic Loader Loader. Just automatically running Magic Loader when you start the game. That way you don't have to worry about it at all in the future. You pretty much don't ever have to run Magic Loader, except for maybe strange scenarios. Which I can't even think of one. Alright, so we're going to load this save. Man, it would be super sad if I loaded in and it wasn't showing up. <laughs> would that even make it to a video? I don't know. And look at that. You guys all saw the entire process. I didn't cut away at any point in here. Uh, we have Aliad Well showing up, and right before I ran the game, I disabled all of Magic Loader manually. So, as you can see, it just automatically runs when you run the game. Uh, one thing I would note is this requires OBSE 64. This is something that runs when you run OBSE 64. If you need to get that mod installed, which I highly suggest and recommend, and you haven't done it already, I'm going to have a link in the description down below uh, to my videos covering how to install OBSE 64 and to get it to automatically run whenever you try to launch Oblivion Remastered, even from Steam, as well as the video I have on Magic Loader. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, guys, I am going to go ahead and go to installation. So here we are, guys, on the Magic Loader Loader Nexus Mods mod page. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you guys can follow along with everything I'm doing here. Uh, I'm going to go through the installation process for Magic Loader Loader manual installation, and I'm running a Steam version. I already have OBS E64 and Magic Loader installed. Those are both requirements for this mod, as you can see down here under requirements. Uh, I'm not going to go into the Game Pass version, uh, but it looks like if you have the Game Pass version, you're also going to need Ultimate ASI Loader set up and installed. I don't have Game Pass version, but installation uh, process seems to be pretty straightforward as long as you have Ultimate ASI Loader and Magic Loader set up. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive on into installation. And also, if you guys like this mod, please endorse. Okay, so for installation, we're going to go into files. We are not going to do the mod manager download. We are just going to do a manual download. As you can see, it's going to remind us of these requirements. OBS E64 and Magic Loader are absolutely required. Ultimate ASI Loader is only required for Game Pass version. At least that's what it appears at the time of recording right now. So I already have these set up. If you do not, this is a final reminder. You will absolutely need both of these installed for this to work. I'm going to leave 
links in the description down below to my videos already covering Magic Loader and OBS E64. Please follow those, knock those out, and then come back here in the video now. Okay, last chance. All right, proceeding forward, it is assumed you've got Magic Loader and OBS E64 already installed and ready to go. So we're going to move on to the download. We're going to do a slow download. And I already have a folder location for manual install mods. Uh, you guys can download this wherever you want. Just remember to keep track of where it's at and all that. Uh, I just have this manual mods folder I've created, so that's just where I'm going to put it. Go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to open where it is. It's here uh, in my manual mods folder as a zip file. Now that we have that, we are going to go ahead and extract it with 7-zip to its own folder. Reload this. Now, now that we have it unzipped, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. If you see here, I already have a magic loader folder created. Uh, this is the magic loader loader. So make sure that you're in the correct one if you save all your manual mods in the same location. Just make sure you're in magic loader loader. All of this is going to be version number and date and things like that. So just remember it's magic loader loader, not magic loader. Okay. We're going to dive into Oblivion Remastered folder, go into binaries, and then this next part you need to pull up the location to move this folder into. Uh, for me, this is in Oblivion Remastered from the Steam directory, so Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Oblivion Remastered, inside the Oblivion Remastered folder, inside of binaries, and you should see Win64 and Win uh, GDK. If you see both these folders, you're in the right location. Uh, I am going to leave something in the description down below, a file path, so if anybody gets lost along the way, you know where to go. It'll be written out and you won't have to re-listen to me talk or try to catch me while you're doing stuff. Okay, so installation for this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We are just going to drag this Win64 folder over here and anywhere that it's complaining about there's already a file, just go ahead and replace the file in the destination. I think that's only happening to me because I've already installed this mod and I went to uninstall it, but maybe there's a file I missed somewhere. You might not see that option to replace a file. If you don't, don't worry. You're still probably doing everything correctly, just dragging Win64 over to here and making sure you replace anything that it asks about. So now that that's done, you have the mod installed. Congratulations. Everything is going to work now as long as you do this one final step. It It's nothing crazy. Just remember, you absolutely have to run Oblivion Remastered Script Extender, otherwise known as OBSE64. Um, if you do not run that and you run the game from the regular launch, uh, it is not going to be installed. So just keep that in mind. It requires OBSE64, and just like every other OBSE64 mod, you have to run the game through OBSE64 and not the base game. Now, I do already have the base game set up to run OBSE64. Um, I, I've covered that in my um, OBSE64 install video, which is linked down below. Uh, it's a very simple process. If you are in your Steam here and you go to Oblivion Remastered, right click and go to Properties, you just need to add this Launch Options here. Essentially, this right here, this whole first part, is just quotes around the file location for OBSE64 loader.exe. Um, I will leave a um, thing in the description so you guys have this entire command as well. 
Uh, it essentially just makes it to where every time Steam tries to run Oblivion Remastered, it's going to run OBS E64 Loader instead. It's a pretty simple and easy process. And now, whenever I run the game from here in Vortex, it just automatically runs Magic Loader. Very simple, very straightforward. Pretty great mod. Very happy about this. Absolutely going to be a must-have. Never getting rid of this. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was pretty easy to follow. I hope everything was pretty clear. If you have any troubles with this whole process, leave a comment down below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I see the comment. Um, or maybe somebody else will be patrolling the comments and tell you how to fix it themselves. Either way, hopefully everybody can get this set up and working with Magic Loader, and life will be just that much more simple. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, happy Mondays. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I really appreciate it. And I hope it was very helpful showcasing this mod and showing how to install it. Um, I'm really hoping that we can get this channel growing so that we can uh, show as many people as possible how uh, easy it is to install some mods and showcase some really good mods that some hardworking people come up with. Um, in order to do that though, I, I'm really going to need you guys' help. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with as many people as you can. We'll try to get this channel growing, and hopefully it helps as many people as possible. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.